Hey, this is Red Band coming to you live from the Road Famous Comedy Store main room for a brand new episode of Kill Tony. Give it up for Tony Hinchcliffe. Hi, everybody. Hello. Welcome. Hello, comedians. Make some noise. Those are comedians. Live audience. How are you guys? Welcome to the number one live podcast in the world. Look, everybody, it's Brian Redband. Hey, guys, what's up? It's Josh Martin. Look at him running around, the little guy. Uh, the great Ryan J. Ebelt drawing tonight's episode. All those prints are available at ryanjebelt.com of every single episode. He's drawn it. And uh, he also drew the official Kill Tony poster that's right down here. Yeah. Hello to everybody joining us in Virtual Reality 360 mm. live on Facebook.com right now. And uh, on uh, Ustream, the regular HD stream is yes. also happening. And those of you listening all around the world right now, maybe some of you live in Boston, and you'd be excited to know that we're going to be there Friday night. Yeah, 9 o'clock, I believe. Should I announce the guest right now? Do Would it. that be fun? Do it. Really? Okay. Well, our guest... For Friday night, live, Kill Tony, for the first time ever in Boston, Massachusetts. And they are Matt Bronger and Eddie Brill. Yeah, Shit. you guys that have That's done awesome. this show before. Bronger. Eddie Brill, uh, former talent uh, coordinator for The Letterman Show. Yeah. Highly, highly important job. Always has fun notes. And Matt Bronger is a big goofball, so I have a theory that that's going to be a great show. But I'm excited about tonight's show, Brian. Every single week, two of the funniest comedians in the world come on this show. And uh, this week's absolutely no different. Let's see how loud this place can get for the great. Brendan Schaub and Sarah Tiana. Yeah, baby. You know them. You love them. The great and powerful Sarah Tiana and the almighty Superman. Almighty. Brendan Shaw. Almighty is a good word. Almighty. I like that word Hello. for you. I, I'm not mad at it. Almighty. <laughs> Almighty. What's almighty. up, guys? Sarah Tiana and I have been writing together forever on yeah. Gross and The Burn and so many other Just fun at my projects. house. Yes, exactly. A lot of times at my house on yeah. my front porch with my dog. Fun fact, Sarah Tiana is one of the only human beings that I ever run once in a if we ever get a chance anymore. It used to be. We did mm -hmm. it a lot a few years ago. But when we get a chance, she's one of the only people that I run my stand-up comedy jokes by during the daytime. <laughs> yeah. Because she is able to formulate full thoughts and have structure and be mature <laughs> and so we counteract each other's balance you say during the day but you mean after 2 p.m. when you get up yeah exactly <laughs> Brendan Schaub absolutely killing it just got back from uh, doing the Mayweather McGregor fight what was that you were on oh, yeah? the, the, the table what do they call that the, what do you mean like the uh <laughs> you don't even know what the ring? Like the round table or some <laughs> shit? I don't know. Are you playing poker with them? <laughs> I don't even know what I'm asking. <laughs> I don't either. It, but it was like, I was like the snotty nosed kid in school. Because it was like, I was the outcast. I was the yeah. MMA guy, then there's all the boxers. Yeah. You're the, you're the one that kept saying McGregor's going to do something here. And I kept telling everybody McGregor's going to do something here. And then he fucking did something. What's and then up? all the boxing fans were like, oh, no, 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 no. Mayweather let him do something. Yeah, oh, he, yeah, like, what the yeah. fuck are you talking about? He let him do something. Yeah, he let him plant him in the face with <laughs> yeah. the yeah. yeah, Yeah, he wants that. Boxing fans might have, be the dumbest arguers I've ever come across and in then, my entire And then boxing life. was like, that's embarrassing for the sport. Just wait for Triple D Canelo. <laughs> yeah. Which now I will never watch boxing. I'm boycotting it. Are you? For a little bit. Why? Until because of the fans? No, because the sport doesn't make any sense. I was actually, I mentioned Brendan this uh, about a half hour ago when I was good and stoned. Um, I said, imagine if NFL games were judged by three fucking judges at the end of the whole thing instead of points. And we said there would be a fucking civil war. Straight up riot. Every if Sunday. you screw over Tom Brady, riot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. People would riot. Yeah. If people judged and said, oh, you know what, the Patriots won that game at the end of the game. 
Atlanta would have no. truly risen up. I would cheer for Al Qaeda before the Patriots. Oh wow! Oh, I wow! Oh wow! A lot wow. of Al Qaeda fans in the wow. audience tonight. Hello. Oh, oh uh, wow. Team ISIS in the house. All right. Good lord! <laughs> I've never really yeah. heard the crowd. Of. Pages or ISIS? Jesus Christ! Well, I'm just saying. I have a. Lord. I'm taking a stand, but I am a Falcons fan, so that's all. Oh, there you go. That you makes know, sense. I'm very sad. Oh yeah, the guy with fucking <laughs> one eye over here is cheering for you. you see that, Sarah? It's a guy with a, just a piece of fucking cotton oh, over no, his eye. That's our <laughs> offensive coordinator. That's our <laughs> offensive coordinator. Wow. <laughs> I am so. Did you sign up for tonight's show, sir? You've been signing up for the last six oh, months, and you I haven't gotten up yet. What's your name? Uh, Nick. Nick. All right. Well, let's. We'll keep. We'll hope. Caradiano. We'll, I say. Nick one Caradiano. Eye. I didn't really care about your last name, Nick. Carada really one o. <laughs> Carada one eye. And he's a dirty bird. <laughs> we'll, we'll keep an eye out for your name. <laughs> what happened to your eye? You were playing basketball and you lost an eye playing fucking basketball. Was it a, was were you playing little basketball small, with a bow and arrow? Yeah, was it small basketball? <laughs> Tiny basketball. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is, that's this show for you. Is that if we spot a guy missing an eye, we just go crazy. Let me at him. <laughs> it's not every day though. One eye. <laughs> I know. Were you right? playing Venice? <laughs> Korea time? Oh, was, fuck, it, was, it, was it just you or was there were there other people? Was this, the, this, is, this is the worst game of horse I've ever heard of in my life. <laughs> Please tell me the name of your team is the Pirates. <laughs> hey, there is no I in team. <laughs> All right, so no the longer. show also has a band, guys. <laughs> I love this band. I call them the best damn band in the land. They are my favorite. They commit to characters every single week. I don't ever know what they're going to do. You don't know what they're going to do. But I'm about to bring them out right now. Here they are. The Kill Tony Band. Pat Reagan. Jeremiah Watkins. Yeah. Joel Jimenez. And Chris, the bass player. Oh, shit. Oh! Yeah. I don't really know why, but you want to justify ripping someone's head off. Oh, my God. There are four Fred Durst on this stage right now. They look like Dodger fans. <laughs> wow. I can't believe you guys are going to be pizza delivery boys for this entire episode. <laughs> are those Make America Great Again hats? Oh, wow. Hello. Is this, uh, you guys all Fred Durst? Am I right about this? <laughs> yeah. No, we're just douchebags, dude. <laughs> <laughs> They're extremely limp biscuits. Awesome. <gasps> wow. Hey, Tony. Yeah. When was the last butt you ate? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Killer. Awesome. awesome. You guys are definitely douchebags. I love it. I can't wait for this. We got the douchebags. We got Brendan Schaub and Sarah Tiana. Are you guys ready to start this Woo! motherfucking show or what? Everything's in its place. We got no ads this week. I'm at Cap City the first weekend in October. You guys know how it works. People sign up for the bucket. Uh, there's a bunch of pe little pieces of names in here. I pull your name out of the bucket. That means you get 60 seconds of stage time. You can, uh, sometimes it's a completely crazy person. Sometimes it's uh, one of the top young rising comedians in the world. Sometimes it's somewhere right in the boring middle. Uh, you know your time is up when you hear the sound of a kitten. That means 60 seconds is up. Wrap it up then, or else you're going to bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. Who's that? Uh-oh. Oh. That's him. You guys ready to start the show or what? Monday night, main room. I said, are you guys ready to start Kill Tony or fucking what? What's up? Make some noise for the great Chris D'Elia walking through the room, everybody. Here on VR360, turn around and look at Chris. Wow. Been trying to book him for this fucking show for only about two and a half years now. <laughs> <laughs> he shows up when you... He did it once. When there's not a seat ago. available. Yeah. Sure, I would sure, love sure, it. Sure, sure. Here we fucking go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> if you know anything about me pulling names out of this bucket, you know I love it when the name excites me. This is a name that excites me. Put your hands together for Crocodile King. Yeah!
come on, make some noise for Crocodile King. Hello, hello, how y'all doing? Y'all already know my name, unless y'all forgot it already. But anyway, hey, don't y'all wish we can go back to the caveman days? You know, when you go back there to those days where you can just knock a bitch inside a fucking head, right? And then <laughs> and take her and drag her in the cave, you know what I mean? And then you do what you want to do with her, you know what I mean? Don't you wish we can go back to those fucking days? you just like, man, those days were so beautiful, but now look at the days we have now. We have everything that we have to do. We got to take the bitch to the club, buy her a drink, we got to buy her a car, we got to buy her a house, <laughs> we got to sign a contract, just not, fuck, I just wish I could go back to the caveman days, man, it, or should I lower my standards? I mean, we have all these products, you have to be a fucking billionaire, <laughs> just to get some nice vagina, what the fuck, what kind of world is this? <laughs> but, 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 thank God, now we have iPhones. Now we have a lot to think Crocodile about. Crocodile King! <laughs> Crocodile King, it pretty much just sounds like you want to beat a woman. Dude, this Only dude, this dude freaking guy. rocks, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the douchebags love you, Crocodile King. Dude, I always have to buy cars and houses for my bitches at the club. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, man. I don't know what I'm saying. What, what kind of girls you date, man? <laughs> yeah. Update A. They are called high exotic Crocodile, homes. you gotta talk right into the tip yeah, of that. Yeah, you oh, don't okay. even put I'm the sorry, mic to your mouth. I oh. know. <laughs> Magical power is activated. Yeah, yeah. Deaf people. It's Deaf hard. people. Yeah, it's hard to hear and understand what I'm really talking about. <laughs> yeah, because you don't have the mic to your mouth. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry? You don't have the mic to your mouth. I know, you understand how to put things to your mouth, don't you? Whoa! Oh. You just got fucking crocodile. Yeah, hey, 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 guys, hey, guys. Hell yeah, she does. Hell yeah, she does, dude. I guarantee that's the most you've ever gotten to say to a woman. <laughs> you know what? Oh, dude, she, she robbed it right, dude. She just queefed in your face, you idiot. <laughs> no, no, she robbed it right because all the other times I was probably asleep. At the my time. Crocodile I'm King. Going to Crocodile. Sleep. I don't want to hit nothing you say. Crocodile, pay attention, dude. Um, <laughs> yeah, I gotta get you in line. You're a naughty fucking boy. <laughs> I Crocodile. love that a black guy is schooling me on oral. <laughs> oh yes. He, I he will might, you. Sarah, you never know. He might want to make you his crocodile. No, 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 be queen. honest. Hello. Tell her it'll be long distance. Okay, I'll tell yeah, her. Yeah, no, I'm sure you live in a cave. <laughs> but I, I will school her. Hey, why why the name Crocodile? I teleport. Crocodile, because you have to have tough skin. <laughs> Wait, first of all... Teleport? You answered two questions at once what there. The fuck? Is this it. true that you teleport? He didn't ask, yeah, answer. You teleport from the cave all the way here to the future, just the fucker. <laughs> you mm. didn't understand that. No, nobody does. Talk into the bad. fucking you microphone, crocodile. Okay, okay. I know you want it on tape. You might sell this information to somebody else. We're streaming live in VR 360 right now, <laughs> Crocodile. I don't need to put it on I tape. Can't it's not 1980, <laughs> That crocodile. big fucking thing right there is looking right at you. All I'm hey, waiting hey, for... Hey, hey, I'm just saying. They might fuck more shit up for us. Crocodile, I have and 754 it, it, questions that I, I need a, to ask and you. And then I have to sell more product. Crocodile, stop talking. Just listen, beautiful women. Crocodile, <laughs> listen to me. You need to listen, Crocodile. Okay, 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 go ahead. All right. First you'll catch up when you see it on the video. Crocodile, <laughs> you son of a bitch. You are a true misbehavior. Okay. Okay, Crocodile, let's start with some questions. Okay, question how many, one. How long have you been doing stand-up comedy? Uh, you know what? This is my first time on the stage doing comedy. Okay. First of all, put your hands together for Crocodile King. <laughs> Popping his cherry live in front of you. He accidentally killed his entire set. He doesn't know why. We couldn't really hear you. I do know why, because uh, this is my first time, and I'm probably the best comedian that ever done it. Yeah, oh, well, that's... <laughs> wow, we I don't think it. that's a leap. I don't think that's a leap. This is some reverse Conor McGregor shit that I wasn't expecting right now. <laughs> I've never tried it before. I'm the best that's ever done it. Hey, you know, you should try but a lot you of you did things. land a lot of punches, if so it doesn't... If you tried her, you fight Mayweather. <laughs> you don't... You'll yeah. probably win. You don't make any sense. Clearly. Uh, yeah, I second that. He didn't, he, he didn't get it. Crocodile. Crocodile, stop doing crowd work. Over here, crocodile, no. crocodile. What are the chances? What are the chances he says, I'm the captain now? <laughs> what was Yo, it I'm like working with Tom Hanks and Captain and Phillips? Was that fun? 
Dude, leave Crocodile EBT alone. <laughs> EBT? Hey, if you only understood what a billionaire mean, you don't even know what a billion is. How can you know a billionaire? He looks like RG3 10 years from now. <laughs> oh, look at RG3. the comedian. He wouldn't even get in the ring. Uh, Brendan Schaub from For 30 three. million dollars, I'll beat his ass. 20 okay. million? <laughs> oh, dude, I think I smell a fight, Brendan. I will bet on that one. <laughs> I, don't want, I don't want none of Crocodile. Just don't bite me, man. No, I wouldn't bite you. I'm crocodile. Mike Tyson. Crocodile. What do you do for work? I own my own clothing line. Of course Wait. you do. It's called Beware. 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 I own my sneaker line. It's called Crocodile Shoes. Wait, you own Crocs? That's you? <laughs> no. <laughs> crocodile. There's a difference. Croc is C-R-O-C-S. Crocodile. It's C-R-O-C-O-D-I-L-E. Like crocodile. Wait, it's a little different. What? It's a little different. Welcome, Better than Louis Vuitton. Welcome to spelling B-E-T. <laughs> yeah. But he's smart. He can spell B-E-T. Yeah. Most I of bet them. he can dial 911 too. He, but he has it on speed now. <coughs> Jay, you freaking idiot, dude. Ah, he the, got you there. The guy with the guy with one eye is crying right now, and I don't know. <laughs> he just lost another one. What is he crying about? Well, he lost his last eye. Are those sweatpants part of your clothing line? <laughs> no, these sweatpants. Literally, I can is see that, the outline of your dick saying, in your pants. Excuse me. Oh. I cannot stop looking at his dick. Oh, wow. That really, it really is right there. Look at that. I didn't want to say anything. I got baby crocodile in the house. <laughs> oh, dude. No, it's, I mean, it's great. It's just That's why I, I love another women. drink. They can find anything. Dude, crocodile oh, thing, you truly have like Especially a semi boner that they right now. Find. <laughs> That is incredible. Are you always sort of hard? Sort of. I'm always hard. Dude, let's dirty hard. talk and see if we can get crocodile all the way hard. The all right. <laughs> Wet pussy. I'm the one Split, who put hard in hardcore. Aw, oh, double stuff. Oreo. You thought it was oh, you, though. butt jug. Aw, oh, <laughs> queen. Yeah. Fart. Fart. Yeah, dude. Uh, crocodile. Said a big Cro word. Crocodile. Croc the word fart. Crocodile. Over here, you fuck. Okay. Uh, okay, listen to me. What? How, how old? First of all, how old are you? Easy I'm question. Only, I'm only 33. Come on, answer it on. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit! Death, death, death? No! You are the most shot out 33-year-old. Hey, are there? Are there? Are there really? Are there really? <laughs> Delia from the back. Chris Delia. Right. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I guess black finally. Yeah! <laughs> black Chris Delia. Dude, <laughs> Chris D'Elia from Long Range, Dude. finish him. He's about to put that on his resume that you talked to him. Uh -huh. Dude, Chris is Chris. like a Steph Curry of now, black chicks. Now, 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 if that's not a scapegoat for I can't keep up and comprehend what you're saying. No, you just got burned, bro. <laughs> I mean, so crocodile, if that's not a crocodile. Come on, all Speaking the women in here was in love with me until you said that fucking joke. Crocodile <laughs> it down, crocodile it down. Okay, crocodile. I'm gonna ask you a question again, without trying to be funny. I want you to answer it honestly, because I want to interview you. Okay? I don't want this to end yet. And if you answer the questions honestly, this could be really good. But if you keep trying to be funny, it's not gonna be. Ready? How old are you? Thirty-three. Oh, you son of a bitch! <laughs> God damn it! All right. What I'm gonna take my guess. I'm gonna go fifty-five. And now I'm gonna do my follow-up question. And here it is. You ready for it? No what way. made you finally want to come on stage and, and do this at your ripe old age of fifty-five? Honestly, I'm really thirty-three, and honestly, because <laughs> they kicked I, him out no, of the no, no, no. Hear, 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 hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. <laughs> hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Corny people like that. What? Corny ass joking people. Crocodile like that. King. He didn't even people talk. I don't know. Need more people to laugh. Crocodile. Got too many corny people on the planet. Okay. They want to laugh. They don't need your corny. I joke. think we squoze everything out of you that we're gonna get, Crocodile King. I'll see you later, alligator. Okay, we this crocodile guy. Good boy, After crocodile. After a while. Until next time. Oh shit. Oh shit. Yeah, man. The crocodile is touching Brent Sarah Tiana. <laughs> Brendan Shaw is. <laughs> Ashier than a 9-11 survivor right now. <laughs> After that crocodile king hug on he his is. way out. Huh?
She's that gonna go cry crocodile tears. <laughs> this past week, Croc- Sarah Croc- was. Crocodile's uh, gonna get his gun. Come back in this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Crocodile's gonna be headlining. Uh, real quick, me. I don't trust Crocodile. Yeah. I don't know. Security. The band has a sponsor. Uh, shout out to No Fear. <laughs> <laughs> No fear. We don't fear shit. <laughs> Especially women. Yeah. Which reminds me, it's interesting that it, his name's Crocodile King, because the, probably the only thing he's afraid of is swimming. <laughs> no, crocodiles Ooh. swim. Okay, I pulled another name out of the bucket. Put your hands together for Tierney McCauley, everyone. <laughs> Long walk. Come on, Tierney McCauley, everybody. Um, I've worked in tech for a really long time, and I loved when I tell really old people that I work in tech, like my grandparents, because they just automatically assume I'm a genius. They're like, "Whoa, like, do you write code? Like, are you a web developer?" And I'd be like, um, my job is way more complicated than that, okay? Like, I manage the whole company's entire Instagram. <laughs> it's a high stress job. <laughs> but like, my last job was really small. There was only 10 people. It was like nine dudes and me. And since it was small, we didn't have HR. So like, should anything inappropriate happen, the company policy was just that if more than one person is laughing, it's okay. <laughs> and like, one of the guys came to my desk and he asked me to smell his beard. <laughs> And three people were laughing. <laughs> so I had to smell it. He was like, what do you think? And I was like, uh, I think your girlfriend has a yeast infection. <laughs> and nobody laughed. <laughs> and I got written up. <laughs> Tierney McCauley. <laughs> so you were on the show last week. Yes. And that was your first time on the show. And this yes. is your second time on the show. How do you feel about it? A little better. Dude, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say she was way more boring than Crocodile King. <laughs> At least I'm not homeless. Yeah. Good call. Good yeah, call. That, that's a plus. Yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. The only hey, thing that was dope was a yeast infection joke. I like that. Infection joke. Second, uh, that yeast infected joke reminded me of a Richard II by Shakespeare. By the way, Tierney, I don't think we ever found out that the Crocodile King is actually homeless. He said he has his own clothing line. And a cave. And shoes. Now, I also believe that he has clothing line and clothesline confused for one another. (laughs) Clothing line's where he dries his clothes. Yeah. (laughs) So, Tierney, what do you do for work? Um, Well, I told you last week I do event production. I also work in tech. Event production. You work did that really it. happen with the beard? Oh yeah. Okay, so we really com- asked you to smell his beard, and <laughs> yeah. what did it really smell like? Like yeast. Oh, <laughs> no. Nice. And, and okay, you really run the Instagram? What? You really? Run I the- used to. That was like my first job out of I college. I got another profession. You should sell your hair to border collies. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Was <laughs> was the? I, I have a question, Tierney. What? How do you know what? <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? Josh, I need another drink. So burned. <laughs> How do you know what a yeast infection I'm smells like? I'm just imagining. Like? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> she scoops them out before. Oh, I can there tell you. you. We, there we go. We got Brian now, riled up. Was the reason for smelling yeah. the beard because he had done something with I a woman? Know, I just like worked in a company with all dudes, and so they were always like asking me something ridiculous because like there was there was no. How long HR. have you lived in LA? Eight months. Where are you from? Florida. Oh yeah, what oh, part? We love Florida. <laughs> <laughs> So she's used to following crocodiles. <laughs> <laughs> that is that true. Was very smart. <laughs> did, you did st- stand up in Florida. Yeah. Nice. Jer- <laughs> Jeremiah and I did stand up in yeah, Florida. No. Remember how it went, dude? Yeah, back to back Eiffel Tower, dude. <laughs> um, what else did we find out about you last week, Tierney? Um. What was the most interesting thing out of the interview portion? Do you remember? Last week? Well, you guys didn't ask me that many questions because you were asking Moshe a lot about his deaf parents. <laughs> Wait, what? That's that's right. Right. I was talking about deaf people. Uh, Ew, gross. But so, now we have a guy with one eye. We've moved on. 
<laughs> what yeah, did we exactly. find out? Like, what's the most interesting? What's something about you in your life? Like, what do you do when you're not doing stand up or working? Um, I go to the beach a lot. I spend a lot of time in the ocean. Are you oh. are you single? Yes. <laughs> How are you, old are, are you? Are you on Tinder? No. No, no Tinder. Just Bumble. <laughs> Bumble. Oh, you see, like all the to LA. That's down to have sex in LA. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Did you go to college? <laughs> that's, that's my date rapist, Patty Reagan, right there. I'm like... <laughs> have, you, uh, have you been with another man since being in L.A. for eight months? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Where, like, where you... do you meet guys at? Um, Bumble, son. Really? Yeah. Was that guy off Bumble? <laughs> um, mm, there has been some, yeah. Now, is Bumble, Ooh, like, Bumble, you're down to fuck. Tinder? No, Bumble, no. you no, ask Bumble the guy the girl out. Bumble, goes first. Yeah, oh. she knows. Bumble is true <laughs> love, you retard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Brendan has women throw themselves at him, so he doesn't understand online dating. Oh, preach! He's like girl. what? You don't? Women just don't come to your door. <laughs> so does the bumble thing usually work out for you? No. No, it doesn't. No, it's not going great. Have you ever been catfished? No, but kind you of. To? What do you mean no, well, but kind <laughs> of? Well, not like it you're talking like a, to a pro with okay. catfish right now. It wasn't a different yeah. guy, but like I'm tall, okay, and the guy didn't mention that he was like, and not that I ha I'm not like have anything against short people, but like I feel like you should tell you someone. can. It's you should allowed. tell someone how, what, if you're gonna short? show up on how the date and be four eleven. Oh, I'm five eleven. <laughs> I'm five four eleven. 11. And we went skiing. This is not in LA, but like we went skiing on the date, and his skis were like little baby skis. Skiing seems like a very weird date. Yeah, that's a terrible date. Did First you, of all, did, they're did cheaper. You, did you use them as one of your ski poles? <laughs> yeah. I could have. Is that how you measured him? <laughs> he was like, well, when we put our skis next to each other, my skis were like this, and his skis were Oh, you had a bigger pizza like, oh, and french fries. Yeah. Did you guys bone on the chairlift like wild animals? <laughs> <laughs> Douchebag, have you seen a wild wild animals? No, but I have a question for Tierney McCauley. Yeah. What is that, Iranian? <laughs> no, it's Irish. <laughs> it's Irish? What? Tyranny wait, wait, Irish wait. Name. I I can't get past going skiing on a date. That That's seems a, like a very bizarre. Yeah, wouldn't yeah. you want to meet him first before why, you like went skiing? Why did you decide to go skiing on a day? I don't know. It sounded like a great date to me. Wait, were you already living near? A no. Ski lift? <laughs> did he did invite you? Did you drive up together? Yeah. That's a bad idea. <laughs> where, where, where'd you guys go? Little Bear? <laughs> yeah. It's 4-11, fuckos. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's half a 9-11. This, this is on Bumble? Um, Bumble yeah. You know, Bumble? yeah, but going yeah. skiing is like, you yeah, that's drive a, that's there. A, that's a crazy he first. He came up with the idea. That's a like, crazy yeah, first. Duh. <laughs> so, did you guys spend the night at the ski resort? No, no, no. I was like, <laughs> I gotta go just, home. Just yeah. because and three hours later, you get home. Yeah. Did you get your skis waxed? What about your puss? <laughs> Jesus. That guy is so intense. Jesus, that is wow. intense. Uh, did you did you get your puss wax? <laughs> Not on the date. <laughs> wow. I think talking about going skiing on a date. What is kind a of great car? Bit. What kind of car did he have? He had a BMW. <laughs> he had oh, skis. Of course he did. <laughs> he had, and, 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 a, and a baby seat too. <laughs> he had a booster seat. <laughs> Didn't get the so pedal. yeah, I just made that joke. Um, <laughs> It's like a lowercase BMW. So, like, did you know that you weren't that this wasn't going to go well, like, on your way already to the ski resort, or did you, did you realize well, after we, he got he out of the me, car? He was in the car, so I didn't oh. see him until after oh, the hour drive. <laughs> <laughs> what, was he a white dude John. or was he Asian? Yeah, he was white. Mini Cooper's yeah. made by BMW, by the way. <laughs> I love that clown horn. He lured so much. you into the BMW like a classic gentleman. <laughs> yeah. So then he gets out of the car, and you realize this guy's Very so short. short. Like, Whoa, you must be this tall to ride me. <laughs> now, Jeremiah, would you consider yourself a gentleman? <laughs> totally. <laughs> <laughs> what, what was his job? What did he do for a living? Um, I don't, I don't remember what he did. I think his parents like made paper towels or something. Oh. I don't know. Oh. Yeah, like a trust Talks fund a person. He sounds like a cash to me. Yeah. yeah. I, I never saw him again after the paper that towel day. company scrawny. <laughs> 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 Yeah. I was looking for it, and you got it. That's good. <laughs> the band is fucking know, annihilating me yeah. tonight. Did he, Jesus. Did he, did he try to make a move on you? Um, no. A little move? Well, at least when you're skiing, you can be separate. You're like, I'm going to yeah. go down the black diamond or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Did you give him a sunny boner? 
<laughs> oh my God, Schulberg is in the house tonight. I mean, <laughs> Sonny Bono died skiing. I hope you all know that. Yeah. That's true. I mean, <laughs> glad, glad you shared that with the class. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, uh, all right, Tierney, you were on last week. That was fun. <clears throat> Tierney McCauley, everybody. There she goes. Good Tierney luck, McCauley. By the way, just a little fun fact. If the Crocodile King had the ability to listen, he'd probably still be up here right now. Crocodiles don't have ears. <laughs> <laughs> I pulled another name out of the bucket. Put your hands together for Michael Larimer. Is there movement? Here he comes, Michael Larimer. Oh yeah, how's everybody doing? Yeah, I am also blind in one eye. Wherever that guy is, I can't see you over there. Oh, there he is, all right, nice. My bad, it's my left eye. Any other macular degenerates out there? Okay, it's supposed to happen when you're like 98 years old, but unfortunately when my left eye turned 28, it just seen so much shit and decided to black out completely. But it's cool. You're still allowed to have a driver's license with vision in just one eye. And how awesome is that when you're trying to merge onto a major freeway and it's your left eye that's blind? So when I go like this to check my blind spot, I literally see fucking nothing. I'm still facing forward by 45 degrees. So I gotta do this weird thing where I turn almost all the way around in my car seat. That's awesome, we make eye contact with a trucker next to you and you're facing fucking backwards. But it's okay. I actually wanted to be a Major League Baseball player, but uh, unfortunately, uh, being a right-handed hitter and being blind in the left eye, if I wanted to face the pitcher, I'd literally just have to face the pitcher straight on like this and just swing back and forth. <laughs> There you go, yeah. Michael Oh, Larimer. shit, that's it. All, All the right. way to the nice. Fuck yeah. Hi, Michael. Hey, what's up? Oh, you want to... Oh, no, like no, no that's okay. Okay, thank oh, you. Oh, Brendan, look wow. at that. That's nice. He's such a gentleman. Nice oh, now you get another pat on the back. I think he knocked off some of the ashes from Crocodile. <laughs> so, Michael, nice. that was a fun performance. How long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, about eight, nine years now. I just moved here from Chicago. Very oh, cool. Yeah. How long have you uh, looked like a magician? Uh, <laughs> I guess uh, 15 years now. Right, cool. around, who's, around who's your influences? Because I can kind of tell, like, you you uh, watch a lot of Dane Cook, right? Uh, no, actually not, but I've met him. He's very nice. Yeah, you, so, you have the whole, like... The you, same hair. Yeah, well, you definitely have, like, the same motions. Like, I could tell you're very physical. Is that how most of your comedy is? Hey, like, who's very, your pants tailor? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? They said they weren't... They're not tailored very well, actually, but... Uh, Dude, Nobody I dated a chick named Target. Taylor. She had two vaginas. <laughs> All right. Okay, okay. Well, Michael, spin it back around over here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you just moved here from Chicago. How recently? Uh, Monday. Wow. wow. Yeah, 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 welcome. Yeah. Welcome. This is your first time at the comedy store then, huh? Uh, yes, yes. Officially cool. performing, yes. And how long have you been doing stand-up in Chicago? Uh, like eight years. Eight years. Yeah. What do you do for a living? Uh, that's pretty much it, and I also try and teach it and teach improv and play with kids too for Lego. Whoa! Oh, Okey dokey. Hey. 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 That's what we were waiting for. We knew there was something. How do you, Dude, are there a lot of hot kids on Bumble? <laughs> no, I don't know. Dude, I was just thinking about that song by Kyle Stevens, Where Do the Children Play? And like, what about a music video where like, it's like a creepy guy walking around asking people, tell me where do the children play? All right, Pat just wrote hey, a sketch yeah. in front of us all. Um, <laughs> so Michael, how, how, much like, how much money do you make about a year doing stand-up and teaching stand-up? I don't think we've uh, right ever- thousand dollars a year. Pretty much. So how do you survive? I don't. I don't. I don't have a refrigerator right now. My fucking apartment came without a refrigerator. Yeah, that's how I don't it know if this is normal. Welcome to LA. It's pretty standard. Yeah. It is? Yeah. yeah, it's like the law. I literally started crying <laughs> one week ago today because I'm like, wait a minute, what? That's how so. I am every week in LA, <laughs> well, even when I have a refrigerator. So oh, what, I'm what, sorry. what do you tend to eat that you would put in a refrigerator? <laughs> well, I have, I don't. I have a cooler now, and there's Numero Uno Marchetto place across the street from me, so I have 
I have a. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you are. Yeah. So I have some turkey and Monterey Jack cheese I need to finish within the next 12 hours, I would say, if anyone wants to come going. over. Yeah, you gotta you get gotta, yeah. Are you single? You yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you seem like a married guy, like a dad. Obviously. Well, I'm actually dating somebody back in Chicago, but <coughs> when, 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 she hey, probably bro. doesn't get the podcast. So. She does now. Wow, Jesus. She's single. Why would you wear a 50-year-old woman's power walking shoes with pants from the GQ cover with David Beckel. <laughs> there you go. For those of you I watching the can, live why. VR stream right now, look down at his shoes. <laughs> yes. Um, Michael, do you tell the students that sign up for your comedy class that your lunch meat goes bad every 12 hours? Uh, no, they're <laughs> usually like rich little kids from the suburbs. So, like, yeah. Oh, at a school? Uh, no, they... Uh, they come to your place. <laughs> no. Uh, it's at where, the sec where, it was at the Second City in Chicago. Oh, God. Uh, Their mouths are duct taped. Heard of it. So they're rich heard little it. kids that make fun of me for, yeah. That's got to be fun. I had a fridge in Chicago, just not here. Uh, so. bragger. Okay. You shouldn't call your girlfriend a fridge, dude. <laughs> I know. He I puts know. his meat in there. <laughs> Thank you. So... I still, I I'm, I'm having trouble understanding how you're surviving in L.A. Teaching he just got state, here. But yeah. how you're going to survive. I, don't, I, I honestly do not know. If Dude, anybody has I respect job, that. Like, leads. you literally left Chicago, and you're like, I'm going to figure it out. I'm yeah. moving to L.A. to do stand-up. Yeah. Like, that's exactly I, what we all that's do. Right. Like, that's oh, thank you. actually I, really great. If I anybody has any money or job <laughs> leads for during the day. I respect that, too. And Do you um, babysit? I, I, yes, I can. Yeah, no, way too excited. Can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> you sit on babies? <laughs> What's the weirdest gig that you've done for money lately? <sighs> uh, I just... Uh, <laughs> I hosted the, the Lego 85th anniversary uh, like party barbecue in Connecticut for them. Uh -huh. Meanwhile, they're cutting like 20% of the company's jobs, so it's very wow. awkward. A Lego party? A Lego party. It, one could say it was a block party? Yes, indeed, indeed. Yeah. Sons of bitches. Good one. <laughs> so, all Did right. Did magic for it? Uh, I hosted bingo, tug of war, and uh, some raffles. Tug of war? Yeah. I oh. Love tug of war. That is a shit job. That is yeah. a tough job. That I got a really good kid. laugh during uh, bingo when I said the prize this round is going to be, you all get to keep your jobs. Yeah. And like 20% of the company is getting laid off. So. Oh, that's great. It's hilarious. Did yeah, I got, a, got yeah. a big laugh like that. So, yeah. So, Michael, what, like, have you, you, you date? Yeah, yeah. And you, you bring girls back to your place? Well, he's got a girlfriend back uh, in Chicago. Just the oh, back in Chicago. How long have you two been together? Uh, about two months, but oh, not we long. love each other. And so. you moved out oh. here. Do you really love each other? She's from Ireland, so. Dude, how big's her thigh gap? <laughs> how big is her what? Her oh. thigh gap. If she doesn't have a thigh gap, gap she's disgusting. It's like, <laughs> like a thigh, a thigh gap, you know, the area between where you put oh, yeah. the legs together. I think it's she like, has that. Wait, yeah. she lives in Ireland? No, she lives in Chicago now, but she's so from Ireland. So you just met her and just were like, hey, I'm leaving you, uh, and like, yeah. two, like a month later. Like. So what does she do in Chicago? Uh, she works at an Irish bar. <laughs> an Irish girl? She's an actual Irish girl that works at an Irish bar? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. She already cheated on you. <laughs> yeah. Damn. It could be, yeah. It could be, yes. Yeah. So, wow. all right, Michael. I'm impressed. Thank you for moving here. That's really oh, awesome. Oh, thank you. That's yeah, yeah. Good thing. luck, man. It's good. Yeah, yeah. good it's luck. Appreciate it's, it. it's tough oh. enough with two eyes. No, you have a great stage presence. I think, and I feel like if you're doing that traffic thing, you should say something about rubbernecking if you only have one eye. And those are great pants yes. too. Pat oh. Reagan tried <laughs> to make a joke about them, but if if Crocodile King wore those pants, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Crocodile. <laughs> nope. Is he, is he still gone. here? What is your other material like? Like uh, you did. It's really good. <laughs> yeah. Like how long? How long a set do you have? Like that you're at, you're comfortable with? Uh, I can do it in like an hour. I've oh, recorded wow. an hour before, so. You recorded an hour before? Yeah. Where at? <laughs> oh. In uh, Waterloo, Even the Iowa. Even answer is gonna be funny. Waterloo, Waterloo Iowa. Yeah. Waterloo. Waterloo, I I'm Waterloo. from Iowa. Waterloo. If anyone's. Pew, pew. Okay, it's over there. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Pew, 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 pew. Uh, yeah, what do you think, it, Michael? What do you think is the most interesting thing about you? <laughs> uh, that I have a 
black cat at home named Apollo Creed? Your eyes. You have a, <laughs> you have a, I, I think I think if he has one eye and hangs out with kids. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's lots of things I could have said there, yeah. I guess. But. Wait, you, you're really blind out of your left eye? Yeah. That's really true, huh? Yeah. Legally, though, not, not like as blind as he is out of his left eye right now. Wow. Um, I still got about 40% wow. left or whatever. Oh, oh Dude. You're, you're not at the level of having a... <laughs> so you didn't drive here. I've never seen a blind guy make fun of another blind guy before. <laughs> yeah, fuck that guy. I mean, it makes sense, though. <laughs> Clearly, this guy has a drink coaster taped over his eye, so, you know, it's not in the best shape. Does that throw your balance off, like being, like, slightly blind? Oh, uh, yeah, a little bit, and I drink a lot, too, so that does oh, it as geez. well. Pew, pew. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Hey, I gotta know, are you gonna lose that eye, my man? What do you have? How'd that happen? Oh, playing basketball, that's right, I don't give a fuck. I did mine, uh, golfing. Oh, that's oh! You weren't born with it. You no. were golfing. Uh, it was actually when I started doing stand up. I was golfing and uh, hit a four iron off a tree, like from me to you. Yeah. And it bounced right back into my left eye. Fuck. Uh, so I thought I was gonna shit. lose the eye, but uh, well, it like stayed there. Out? Do you tell that story on stage? Uh, if I have enough time, if it's like one minute, it usually just grosses people Your out. Your vision and used then... to be twenty twenty, but now it's twenty four. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's good. That's good. Pew, pew. No, still, we, uh, still not going to touch you. Still not going to touch me. That's fine. <laughs> Period's going to be Michael Larimer, ladies Thank and gentlemen. Thank you very gentlemen. much. Come on. He's on Twitter at Michael Larimer. All one word. Tierney McCauley is all one word. Tierney McCauley. T-I-E-R-N-E-Y. You're welcome, Michael. And believe it or not, Crocodile King does not have a Twitter handle. <laughs> or a phone. <laughs> <laughs> but he's got a clothing line. You just got to go find it somewhere. <laughs> get good reception in his no, cave. No phone in car, but clothing line. <laughs> All right, I pulled another Where's name out at? of the bucket. We, I believe we've seen this young lady before. Put your hands together for Kirsten Alberts. Thank you. When I was a teenager, I struggled with depression and suicide because I felt like I didn't have a place in this world. But I'm standing here today, so obviously it was just for attention. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> for weeks, I would go bungee jumping and skydiving because statistically, if you do it every day, one of those times the cord is gonna break. But that never happened. And so I ended up just having fun. <laughs> so, very sad. <laughs> but there, there was two reasons why I didn't kill myself. Um, the first was I didn't want to die a virgin and let the necrophiliacs win. Because <laughs> that's what they want. And, <laughs> and the second was people told me it was selfish. And then I had sex for the first time and I was like, wow, he really did not need me to be alive for that. <laughs> Boom! Kirsten Alberts. Wow. Killer. That was awesome. That was awesome. That's one of my favorite things is uh, when I see somebody that's been on this show a few times and they come back with, you know, what seems to be an amazing minute. Thank Congratulations. You. Yeah, that, that was, was awesome. Thank How many you. times have you uh, done this show? Three or four times? I, I slapped three. the shit yeah. out of your hands. <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> three times and uh yes jeremiah side. dude this is the first time i've ever been attracted to a nerd before <laughs> oh <laughs> so kirsten i remember some things about you let's cover it you're a hippie you're you don't like showering correct i've been showering more. you've been showering more lately did you get feedback from that huh did you get a lot of feedback online from that or uh oh no no what? i just I why no showers someone <laughs> so why no showers? Uh, I just depression and uh, laziness. Well, I, it's a good thing it looks like you're out of the suicide woods now, because with all those bracelets, no way you could split slit your wrists. Yeah, nailed it. Yeah, nailed it. So, Kirsten, remind me, what do you get? What do you do for work again? Um, I work from home, uh, processing health insurance claims. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, wow. How long have you been doing that for? 
Uh, three years. Yeah, oh. that's why she's sad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That would do it. So you watch yeah. people just be sad and struggle all the time. Uh, now, why are you doing this to me? No, I mean, I don't I don't talk to anyone. Oh, okay, perfect. It's, you just yeah. deny them it's money for their... I just deny... No, I pay... I pay it's, it's, Medica it's Medicare, so I, I pay a lot of... I, almost everything I pay. You're not really sad, though, are you? Uh, I don't know. That means yes. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. We all get a little sad. Are you from here? Where are you from? Um, Chicago, originally. Okay. If you yeah. want to cheer up, just watch a Werner Herzog movie. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been in Los Angeles? Um, two and a half years. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you live yeah. by yourself? Uh, I uh, live in a four-bedroom house with three other people. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, that's why you want to kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. If you were had to kill your, how would you do it? I'm just at, I'm asking for a friend. Uh, <laughs> uh, probably just like a bottle of pills. Yeah, that's how I would do it too. Yeah. I'd be like, let's just go out on a high. Yeah. I say death by crocodile, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I respect the skydive. You don't really do the skydiving thing. No. I did the I did a bungee jumping once, yeah. And the, right. then like Fuck two that, days yeah. later, because it was on this gondola, it was like in Switzerland. So there was like two levels. There was a 330 foot, and there was a 530. And three days after I did it, somebody died because they put the long rope on the short jump. Oh, by oh my God. I'm not That'll fucking around. That'll yeah. do it. Yeah. Oh. Fuck that noise. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> do, do the rest of your roommates shower? Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's driving me nuts. You guys don't shower. <laughs> no, they do. They shower. Yeah. What do you think the longest you've gone without a shower is? If you had to guess, throw a number out you, there. You asked me this. Go ahead. Was, I'd love to hear maybe, it. Maybe, maybe close to two weeks. Oh, oh my wow. god! Oh, that was fucking. There's that no was way. A long time ago. By the way, there's no way you long can even recover ago. after. I would. I'm out. You go dying. two weeks without. There's no getting clean. I want to do that. that. Now I want to do it. Yeah, now I want to do it. She has like a stain. Hey, dude. Serious fact. Eric Andre went entire season without bathing. Really? really? Yeah, whole season, dude. Wow. There's like, something everyone about... was like, you smell. Oh boy, that sucks. That's how cheese is made. Are, are you are you single? Uh no, I am dating someone. How long Yay. have you been dating somebody for? Uh since May, officially. And have they ever mentioned like, ooh, babe, you sort of have a little something going on down there or something like that? Like, No, I, I started showering when we started There's dating. There's something uh -huh. about like body odor though that can be really attractive. Oil? Like your, na yeah. your yeah. natural yeah. pheromones. pheromones. Like sometimes when, Not when my boyfriend though. has like a, just a hint of BO, like a rocks, like, oh, you maybe just ooh, played a, a concert. Like, Gross. A bit, like, yeah, it's Sarah's nasty. Are you a freak? No. I saw her making out with Crocodile King before the show. <laughs> 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 she gets down, Listen. man. She's. Listen, what They call her the crocodile hunter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> where, where did you and your man meet? That's not a, a comedy noise. festival. <laughs> where? A comedy festival. Oh, gotcha. Ooh, what comedy festival? Slowfest. Uh, Slow San, San, San Luis Obispo. San Luis Obispo oh, festival. You're going to have to speed that up. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's what is, he's a comedian as well. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. Is he here? Has he been on the show before? He's not here right now. Has he been on the show? I is he sad so. too? No. <laughs> what does he do? For, oh, he's a comedian. Yeah. But does he have a job, John? Uh, yeah. If he killed himself, how would he kill himself? Yeah. <laughs> God damn you guys it! Make if it was a with pack, pills, if it was it with together. pills, you could guys, you guys could Billy Joel it. Like you could be like bottle of red pills, bottle <laughs> of white pills. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow. No matter what you want, you want Kirsten, what's something that, uh, what, what is something that scares you? Like, what are you afraid of? What are you afraid of? Um, what scares you? Water. <laughs> Soap. Soap and water. Uh, getting up in, in front of people. Really? Yeah. Good job. Yeah. So, like, you're really, you really funny. It. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it was Thanks. great execution. Yeah. And, and let me ask you this. Like, so, like, when you're saying that you're afraid of getting up in front of people, like, what are the thoughts running through your head when you're, like, walking from that seat over there approaching the stage? Like, what's really going on? Uh, are you still afraid when you hear your name, or are you just afraid before? Or is um, it. The whole, yeah, yeah, the whole time. And then, but then when I start talking, it kind of fades out. Right. Just so yeah. you know, that never goes away. Oh, great. <laughs> yeah. Just great. to give you something to look forward to. <laughs> for sure. As somebody fact, that's been doing it for 14 years. In fact, sometimes years. it gets worse because yeah. then you have expectations yeah. that you have to follow through on. Yeah. And, yeah. What's yeah. the longest amount of time you've done? There you go. Brian um, with his uh, favorite question. 28 minutes. Really? Good yeah. job. What are you comfortable with? 
Uh, 20. So twenty. anywhere. Yeah. Uh, would you like to do uh, Death Squad next uh, Friday? What? Yeah. Oh my God! Yeah. <laughs> How long does she do for the Death Squad show? Uh, she can do seven minutes. Whoa, seven <laughs> minutes! He always asks how long everybody. Are you, I am. Um, I'm actually. Uh, Why'd you ask? Uh, wait, oh, wait, wait. She's out of Friday, town. Out of town. She's bungee jumping next Friday. Yeah. Oh. You're gonna be out of town? Uh, yeah, I have. I have oh. another show. Can, can I have a show? Can, can I do it? Can I do it a different Friday? Maybe. Remind yes. me some other time. The hype is don't gone. Give her, don't give her shit <laughs> for working. She's, been, she's working. Hey, no, keep no, no, it no, positive, Red you, Band. Huh? Guess what? Yeah, you I just know. ruined your career. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, just follow we'll, up, we'll follow talk up with Brian yeah, on we'll this other about. Mondays okay. when yeah. you see him. There You're she goes. Right. Kirsten nice. Roberts, everybody. She's on Twitter at Dirty Hippie Comic. H I P P Y. I don't even think that's how you spell hippie. Is that how you spell hippie with a Y? It's not I E. Skippy's with a Y, hippie's IE. Yeah, that's what I thought, too. Uh, <laughs> you guys really know your peanut butter over there. Yeah, we do. Put on our balls so dogs like it all. <laughs> oh, wow. Did you, like, sort of laugh at yourself just then? Yeah, I did. <laughs> all right. I recommend Skippy Chunky. They work harder. Okay. I pulled another name out of the butt. You guys having fun out there meeting human beings? Huh? A show where literally anything can happen. This looks like a new name. Maybe I'm wrong. Put your hands together for Austin Scott. Yeah, you guys, you do just know that song. Word. Put your hands together for Austin Scott, everyone. I'm from Florida, so of course there's a headline involving my hometown in a McDonald's. That's what happens when you're from the same part of the country as the Cash Me Outside girl. Headline was, uh, man beats woman after she refused to have sex with him after he bought her McDonald's breakfast. Pretty self-explanatory, but I'm going to dive into it. Homeboy was driving in his car. He uh, gave his girl a couple of McGriddles, and he was trying to get some roadhead. And she was, but a bop 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 not blowing him. So he got out of the car and started beating the fucking shit out of her. Yeah, that's why when I say I'm from Florida, I feel like y'all should be clapping like I'm six years clean off heroin. Then we got a uh, teenager poses as gynecologist, fooling doctors and patients. He got away with it for a fucking year, folks. And an overthinking. He's probably like an autistic kid. No. He comes off and he's like totally fucking intelligent. And uh, I know you're thinking, he's probably white. But no, Malachi Robinson, a black man, which says one thing about this country, that race relations are getting just a little bit better. Because that couldn't happen in the 1950s. Fuck yeah. Cool. Austin Scott. I have no idea what the fuck you were talking about yeah, that entire really time. Fast. That was tough. Where are yeah. you from? What? Uh, West Palm Beach, Florida? Florida. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> dude, this is my new favorite comedian, dude. Why? Combined our two favorite things, dude. Florida and talking about beating your girlfriend. <laughs> and uh, there's a punchline with that, but I can't remember it. Neither cool. could Austin. Um, <laughs> how also, long that you been autism bit was dope. <laughs> Dude, I like how you tilt your head up when you talk. All right, Austin uh, Scott. I always wondered what. Oh uh, boy, okie dokie. I guess this is its own thing now. Go ahead. No, I just was all. I always <laughs> wondered what it looked like if Reek from Game of Thrones developed a skateboarding habit. <laughs> there you go. Uh, radical. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. Game of Thrones oh, Game reference. of Thrones reference. <laughs> Got it. So, Austin, what the fuck was that? <laughs> How long have you been doing stand-up? What was uh, Two it? years. Sometimes headlines are funnier than the bit. You know, like, it's like a joke on a joke. So sometimes when a headline is funny, it's hard to make a joke about a headline because the joke was the headline. Like this current event he was doing? Yeah. He's like, I heard you had head. <laughs> <laughs> So you're from Florida. How long have you been in Los Sorry. Angeles? Uh, three years now. Three years. What do you do for a living? Uh, I serve at a yard house. You yard call that dude. living? In instead of making a joke about headlines, you should make a joke about long lines. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. We got a live mic over there tonight. <laughs> All right. Yard so house. how long have you been at yard house? The whole time? Uh, I've been there a year now. Yeah. You... you just wait tables I can't there. imagine yeah. you being a server. Yeah. Do they make you wear your hair back? Uh, yeah. I got to okay. tie it up. You have to tie it up. 
Logan you're in the kitchen? No. Sir. Do you do uh, ponytail or man bun? Oh, man bun, all the way. Oh. Jeremiah? <laughs> yeah, I, I think this audience, and we can all agree, we'd like to see what it looked like whenever he <laughs> comes to a table to serve and asks for an order. Yeah, perfect. I agree with that. So let's say uh, Brian, me, Sarah, Brendan, we're all out at a meal. You could take the mic out of the mic stand and uh, approach the table how you would if we were waiting at Yard House. Go ahead. And I love Yard House, so. Yeah, man, I'm so excited. To, I'm so excited to order this. All right, oh, man, got we'll go. What are you, yeah, so what are you guys going to get? I'm so hungry. How are we doing, folks? Oh, oh, oh yeah. shit. This this is disgusting. You guys want to go to Applebee's? Let's get the <laughs> fuck out of here. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> wow. All right, go ahead, Austin. We're just kidding. Oh, man, I'm so excited. I'm about so this hungry. Yeah. Oh, I wonder, wait, I wonder where the fuck Welcome to Yard House, folks. My name's Austin. I'm going to be taking care of you. Wait, what did you just put on oh, the Oh, I, I got coasters. I got to throw the coasters. Oh, I thought you were throwing ninja stars. <laughs> 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 okay, go, okay, I cut you off again. Oh, boy, man, I wonder where the fucking waiter is here today. It's taking forever. I know. I typical. Oh, shit. Oh, we're good, we're good. <laughs> Welcome to Yard House. My name's Austin. I'll be taking care of y'all. Can I get you start off with something to drink? Maybe yeah. a half yard of your favorite beer or Moscow Mule? Ooh. Ooh. Do, we, do we go with uh, two and a half meters of drink or a little <laughs> cup of uh, vodka? I don't know. I understood that. More. I'll, I'll have an Arnold Palmer, please. Oh, <laughs> uh, there you go. Oh. I'm just going to have a water, no ice. Okay. Would you like a lemon with that? <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have uh, I'm gonna have about seven yards of beer. <laughs> okay. Seven yards of beer. Two of those. Two of those. Good man. I'll have what he's having. Yeah. Okay. Do you have any, by the way, before you leave uh, and get our drinks, do you have any recommendations for what we should eat tonight? Nashville hot chicken. Yeah, a Nashville hot chicken yeah. plate. With right. oh. Brian, why are you Brian. helping this guy do his job <laughs> no, that, right now? That, that, that's, that's my go-to. That's, so like, that's like the best thing they have. The yard house it's the menu. only thing they have. On the <laughs> All right. What is it, the Nashville? All right, now, that's, now that's, that's off the plate, by the way. I'm going to re-ask the fucking question. <laughs> Jesus, how are you a better waiter at Yard House than this guy is? <laughs> just read my Yelp review. By the way, before you, uh, before you go get our drinks, question, I'm thinking about maybe ordering like an app. Do you have a recommendation for like an appetizer? Yeah, we have an onion ring tower. That's they suck. Uh, beer battered <laughs> onion rings deep fried with a side of Chipotle ranch or regular ranch. Do you have anything that comes that's not three feet to the table? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> guys... I have an onion tower. I got the Yard of Beer. We got the World Trade Center wings. Uh, they're hot. Man, they will take you down. Everything's the size of Tierney's <laughs> date. <laughs> you have anything that we won't show our pants with? No. no. <laughs> All right. What's, the, out. What, what's your least favorite experience you've ever had waiting tables at Yard House? What is that like? Seems like you'd have some real douchebags over there. Oh, yeah, we get all kinds of who, people. Who, who tips the worst, like race-wise? Ooh, good <laughs> question. Good. Brendan Schaub would it's perhaps all, the it's, question it's of the night. It's ex-MMA fighter. It's Brian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lakers fan. Okay. It's across all races, but if you look like a bum and you order the lobster garlic noodles, you're probably not going to tip me. Yeah, Dude, that's our, all you have. Yeah. Our tool bag Safe waiter's place, never going to come over and take our order. Yeah, what is he doing? He oh, yeah, he's going to take their order. Just on people, this fucking table. People, he's all, fuck God, this is my worst thing. Dude, we might leave. Do people we ever, might leave and take our business to oh, people the walk out all Olive Garden. It seems like those customers over there really want some help. Uh, What's up, Russ? How you doing? You want some Jaeger bombs? Hey, uh... <laughs> Good call! Yeah, I freaking yeah. like this yeah, guy. Yeah, Austin! I freaking like this guy. Gleek on that guy. Do people you ever ask... Got pussy, dude. Do people ever ask you if you're what you do and you say you're a comic and they say tell you a joke? Dude, yeah. wait, over and talk to the What do you do when they say over that? Here and then you just went back to the yeah. other table. Dude, you never Austin, got Austin, can you please go take those guys' order real quick? <laughs> can I get you something to drink? Hell yeah, dude. Uh, yes, can I have a rosé, please? <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, like a nice Chardonnay, please, if that's okay. Would you guys like a six ounce or a nine ounce pour? Uh, um, the six ounce. We don't want to queeze the stomach too much. <laughs> okay. I'll also have the six ounce. Cool, can I see you your ID? Pinot Grigio. <laughs> what? Fuck you, man. We don't have our IDs. <laughs> dude. We're old, dude. Dude, suck our knob. Yeah, dude. <laughs> like, wow. Cool. What was your question for him, Sarah? I was just saying, like, what do you say when people ask you if what you do and you say you're a comic and they say, tell me a joke? Yeah, when it, I was waiting tables, people always did that. I guess so he I got a drink know order. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if it ever really went in. He just kind of looked at us, and then he kind of walked off. <laughs> did he have Pinot Grigio? I, I asked him. <laughs> he didn't even get Joel's order. <laughs> what the fuck? Chris, or Chris started, the bass player. It's like Chris the bass player doesn't even They know he wants a margarita. Sometimes. You're right. Hell yeah. <laughs> like, what does he know? 
Austin, have you been in love since moving Why to Los Angeles? Why Austin with an E-N nah. instead of an I-N? All right. Wow. Okie dokie. Austin. Dude, now this other table's talking to us. <laughs> Dude, hey, are you guys having a good time over there? <laughs> no. Hey, what's up? What Dude, do you think of the waiter? Dude, We've been waiting. this guy's pretty sweet, Please right? Please share your onion ring tower. <laughs> Hell yeah, it is. <laughs> Starving. Dude, take it. <laughs> When Jeremiah misbehaves, the whole thing goes off. It's fucking track. A little fun fact for you diehard Kiltsoni fans. Sometimes he pretends like he's not misbehaving, like he knows that he's not, and then it fires up he's a everything. Dude, it sucks to misbehave in comedy. <laughs> Austin Scott. Because there is a live show happening. Um, so, Austin, have you been in love? Nah, not in LA. Not once in LA, and you've been here for a year. Two, uh, three years. Three years. What's the, what's the closest that you've come to being in love? Fucking. <laughs> Hell yeah, Fuckin'. dude. Fucking. Sounds like a true yard house. Dude. Yay. One time a girl tossed my salad. I was in love for like six minutes. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Austin. We're going to keep moving. I'll have moving. a tossed salad. <clears throat> we're going to keep moving along. Go. There he goes. Austin Scott, everybody. No Twitter handle, huh, Austin? No Twitter handle. Brendan, who do you think the funniest... <laughs> Misbehaving. You guys are, on you guys are fired. Unbelievable. So, Brendan, who do you think the funniest fighter would be? If somebody had to do stand-up. I know this is a random question that I'm asking you out of nowhere, but... Well, it would have to be someone creative, so either Connor or Chael, Sonny. Yeah. Yeah. Connor probably. 100%. Wasn't Connor supposed to be in Game of Thrones? He was, and he turned it down. Oh, he turned it down. Yeah. He'll, he'll get into Hollywood after. Me buddy. too. Yeah, yeah, I turned it down. <laughs> I would have to say Brock Lesnar. Like, that dude is A fucking hilarious. Hilarious, man. Have you ever heard him talk about Miller Lite? Like, in the, like, <laughs> like, they were the sponsor after he won, like, UFC... 200 or something like can that. He and he goes, I'm going to go home and fuck my wife and drink a Bud Light. And I was like, what the f... Can he even spell Miller Light, Brock Lesnar? Tough. He has that <laughs> dick on his chest. <laughs> <laughs> he does. It's like wow. Little Mermaid dick. Yeah. He's you guys up. ready for more show or what? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Fucking live main room of the comedy store. Ryan J. Ebelt chiseling away over there. Look I at can that. see the outline of Sarah Tiana's head right oh, yeah. now from here. All right, we got another Austin. If you like that last Austin, then you might like this next Austin. His name is Austin Langley. Yeah. So after years of studying, come to the conclusion that old people are batshit bizarre. The other day I watched an old guy walk up to another old guy and go, hey, is your name Tom? He's like, no. It's like, oh, I thought you were one of my friends. It's like, how good of fucking friends are you with Tom? I feel bad for Tom in this situation. He's got a friend over here who doesn't know what he looks like. Some dude who's just grateful his name doesn't happen to be Tom. My mom's phone went off the other day for a solid 45 seconds with the most obnoxious Motorola ringtone. I'm a nice person. I respect my mother. So I said, Mom, you're going to answer the goddamn phone? I said, oh, just a text message. Like, you could have fooled me, it sounded like an Amber Alert. <laughs> My dad still leaves voicemails like I have an actual answering machine. He's like, Austin, pick up the phone. I know you can hear me. Pick up the phone. If you're at home, pick up, okay, call me back. Lady at the thrift store. Go ahead. Lady at the thrift store having a real heavy conversation on her Bluetooth. Literally had to turn away from the 90s board games that I was looking at just to stare at this woman for the slight chance that she might realize I fucking hate her. <laughs> Austin Langley. Hello, how are you? I'm good. I had fun. That was fun. Good. <laughs> okay. I didn't ask you that question, I know, I know, but I, I like that you already answered yeah. it. Well, everybody... Yeah. Uh -oh. One of the first things that I always do is I ask the person, did you just have yeah, fun? I did. Very good. I mean, um, you're wearing a jersey. You're ready for fun. Yeah, you look like you start in the sandlot and gave up and haven't <laughs> done anything since. It's just, yeah. Just Still wearing the costume. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Austin, I feel like uh, there's a little something about I already have the feeling that you're going to be an interesting interview. Can I tell you that? Can yeah. I say that out front? Yeah. I feel like you're going to be honest and you're going to answer questions in a great way. Okay. <laughs> he's all sure. I'm like, I always thought they were doing something sketchy. Yeah, something. How long have you been doing stand up? What? Um, one year now. One really? year. Really? You yeah, have really almost, great stage presence for a year. I think it's almost up on to like year anniversary. I'm not quite sure the exact date. I like the way you say anniversary. Anniversary. Where did you start at? Uh, Spokane, Washington. Oh, I was just there okay. a couple weeks ago. Oh, cool. Your name is Austin, set. and I'm going to be in Austin the first weekend of October, Cap City. Oh, wow. cool place. Not to be confused with the last comedian who was named Austin, which is where I'll be the first weekend <laughs> in October. <laughs> also City. a server. Dude, I would oh, like really? that. really? You are too? Where yeah. at? Um, I live in, I mean, I'm from North Idaho, so I wait at a brewery there. Foot Dude, house. Not <laughs> yard long brewery. No, they use anything, the metric system. Yeah, yeah. Well, close to Canada, Canadian. so yeah. yeah. I work Dude. at Meter House. <laughs> Austin, 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 dude, I like that part of your set when you talked about respecting your mom. I respect her too, the dumb bitch. <laughs> Pat, I almost cried when your mom got up. I thought it was one of the most touching moments of Kill Tony. Hands off. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, dude, she's all mine. Too yeah. late. <laughs> so what do you do for work now? Oh, I'm still a server. I'm just visiting. Oh, really? you're just visiting? Yeah. From, from uh, Spokane. From, well, North Idaho, yeah. From North Idaho. What happens up there? Not much. N no. What's skiing. the name of the city that so you live in? So many open Sandpoint. mics. <laughs> What's the name of the city that you live in? Sandpoint, Idaho. How many people live there? 7,800. 7,800. There's oh. more. There's How more do you people? know that exactly? Are you the no. census taker? <laughs> well, no, that's just the, I drive by the sign every day. Oh. 7, 8, I like the way you say your something. S's. They whistle. It's yeah, like you do. whistle and you. I think I'm just a little nervous. Oh. I don't know. Maybe maybe they always whistle. It's almost like a West Hollywood list, right? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Oh, I fit right in. With it. <laughs> I accidentally pushed the wrong song. <laughs> <laughs> but that was perfect. It worked. I enjoyed it. Well, guess what? I still saw it through, you bitch. <laughs> oh. Now, Austin, another question. Do you always choose, is it, do you always dress like a teddy bear? <laughs> no, I like, I, I, that's the best one I've heard yet. I've heard oh, like the oh, baseball and stuff, yeah. Oh, okay. For sure. Hmm. So, you've been doing comedy for a year. You're visiting from Idaho. The middle of fucking nowhere. Northern Idaho. Do you have a clothing line? <laughs> I was, ho I was asking Croc about it. it was like, hey. Oh, you call him Croc. Croc yeah. well, we're on, yeah, They're on that Croc. term. They're on terms. You look like you're waiting for Pennywise the Clown to come back any day. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite Stephen King novel to fuck a fleshlight to? <laughs> I don't fuck fleshlight. How old are you? How old are you, Austin? 28 years old. 28 the years old? Zone. Why do you still live in Idaho? Do you like it there? I do. I do. Oh, what french what? fries, dude? <laughs> what do you like about Idaho? Um, I've got a ski resort that's less than... 20 minutes away from town. You I've ski got a lot? The, yeah. So when you took that girl on a skiing date, what a... <laughs> no, that's what. Got it. You're taller than we thought. Why did you go into comedy and not become a barista? Because you definitely look like a barista. <laughs> barista yes. Yeah, you do. I've done it before. <laughs> <laughs> or as he would call it, a barista. Barista. <laughs> All right, Austin. So, why? Well, I mean, I don't really understand how you love Northern Idaho. I don't really get that. Um, I mean, it was where I was raised. There's know, no black people like there. I, uh, oh, What's I not love to love? <laughs> There's, I mean, it's got everything. I don't know. I've are ever... there black people there? We've got a couple. Wow. What are their names? What are their names? <laughs> Did you notice that the sign when it, that when it said 7,842, did you notice that when the two black people moved in, they didn't uh, they adjust the They put three quarters? Well, yeah. Yeah. You literally have a couple black people. They're married. <laughs> so what do those black people do in your city? Come on. No, you know what they quiet. fucking do. They just more keep than them a couple. I was just, that was a, yeah. Hey, dude, how are the black people different from the white people in that city? <laughs> Can you tell us the differences? No, it's, just, it's a trap, Jeremiah. They eat sweet potatoes. What are the Black Lives potato. Matter rallies like there? Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, do you know what any of the black people in your city do? Well, I mean, there's a big company that just moved in, Cochava, so there's a lot of, I mean, people that work there. The, what's the company do? You I'm almost said a lot of them. Spyware. No, I didn't. Yes, you did, dude. Yeah, you almost did. You almost said a lot of them, dude. Don't no, freaking no, do no, that, dude. Freaking like watch that. out, dude. We got it's your racist like back that. right here, dude. Watch it. What is the company that Coach, do it's a um it's just like a spyware company. Like so when you Google something and then the next time you like, go onto a web page, it's like you were looking up Hawaii trips. And then that's the I don't know. So, so it, they, they like target track market. your like oh. Google. They shit. monitor what you're searching. Yeah. Searching. Like when you're looking on Amazon for protein powder or something. <laughs> like that. Yeah, and exactly. then the next time then, that's what Brendan does. And then you go to yeah, Twitter do. and then it pops up. <laughs> all day all long. There They're like, goes. here's your Protein shaker. Still want it? Yeah. <laughs> Way all day. Uh, Nineteen ninety nine. It's me every time. <laughs> that is such a funny image. Like, so yeah. <laughs> now I'm trying to picture how many pounds of protein there is in Brendan Shaw's Amazon cart right now. <laughs> like, oh, I got some strawberries, some vanilla. <laughs> dude, dude, <laughs> dude, oh, let's, let's make for the guys healthy. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, yeah, fuck you! So healthy. When they make protein cigarettes, I'm gonna smoke the shit out of them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be so buff. That's why he doesn't like the guy from Idaho, cause oh. potatoes are starchy. Oh. <laughs> Carbs can't do it. That's North Idaho. Dude. Or Southern Idaho's oh, potatoes. Oh, sorry. sorry North. Right. What did, what's Northern Idaho yeah, known right. for? Yeah. Um, huckleberries. Huckleberries? What? Huckleberries. Well, what the well, fuck? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the N word. All right. No, it's like one of the capitals of the Huck like the Huckleberry Bush is a weird one because it can't be like domesticated. You can't like you make a nice jam. No, out of it was created right. It's Any like kind a, of bush is gross. It's a man-made berry. No, no, Huckleberry is just a wild berry that can't be like planted or anything. Are we talking about berries right yeah, now? Yeah, Huckleberries. <laughs> is there a lot of spots to do stand up out there? In Spokane. Yeah, the scene's gotta, blossoming. Gotta traveling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, yeah, more like Chuckleberries. <laughs> Chuckleberry, you knuckleheads! Hey, oh. hey, hey, Pat, has your mom ever walked in on you and you're jerking it to a Hawaii trip? <laughs> so thinking about chuckleberries, do they pee on you after? <laughs> what? That's a Chuck Berry reference. Sorry. <laughs> Chuckleberries. Oh, that's funny. Oh, yeah, there's a video of that. You guys should look it up. Chuck yeah. Berry peeing on somebody. Yeah, mm -hmm. Chuck Berry peeing Thanks, on somebody. I recommend R. Kelly. So, Austin. <laughs> Whatever. I'm old. You in love, Austin? You have a girlfriend? I do have a girlfriend. I don't know if I would cross the line of, like, we're in love. She's watching right now, too. She's oh. a potato. Oh, she's watching right now? <laughs> she's Back a home, potato. Yeah. In Idaho? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my you God. You just made her so sad. I know. <laughs> yeah, we've been, how long have you been dating for? A few months. A few months. What's yeah. her name? Time to dump Claire. her. Claire? Hi, Claire. Yeah, she's Who? a first grade teacher. Hello. What's Hello, up? Claire. What's up, girl? What's, what's, what's up, girl? Oh, what's up, shit. Claire? What's up, girl? Oh, Claire. Claire I'm take? sorry, Austin. Claire just, uh, Claire just came looking at Brendan <laughs> Shaw directly in the eye. Yeah. Uh, Who's, who's the black woman that you were sitting with earlier? Uh, that's oh, a crocodile queen. She <laughs> sitting by my That's the crocodile queen. Don't let your Idaho friends find out you're sitting next to a black person. Where'd, where'd you meet her? Where'd you meet her in Idaho? Oh, we went to high school together, and, like, and then, yeah, never really in the right situation. We always, like, hit it off and had friends of friends. So then when, when, it, when it got going again, what happened? Um, you were at I a high school gone. reunion? In, um, when no, you guys I were in high school, did you guys mash potatoes? <laughs> <laughs> Idaho jokes. Yeah. Um, Idaho jokes. <laughs> yeah, we're just yeah. chipping away at yeah. it. <laughs> There's only so... Um, but no, and then, yeah, we, uh, we hit it off. I had recently gotten through like a, um, like a separation through an ex, and then we hit it off, and it's been great ever since. <laughs> wow, how, how, old, how old are you? Yeah. Yeah. So, how old I'm are 28. You? Gotcha. All right, Austin. You're from well, Southern Idaho. North. Oh, potato, <laughs> potato. So there's like the like the Panhandle. <laughs> right. Basically, like 40 miles away from Montana, 40 miles away from Washington, and like 60 miles away from Canada. Oh, right. the hub of comedy. So they speak English. They speak English there. <laughs> Dude, is it just me, or is the North Idaho shaped like a dick tip? <laughs> no, it's just Dude, you. it's not you, dude. Yeah. All right, Austin. Well, it was nice to meet you. Were you were great. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, you. great thank you. stage thank presence. You. There he goes, Austin Langley, everybody. I'm here on a little trip from northern Idaho where he listens to the show because surprisingly, 
Northern they Idaho have, has the internet. They have, yeah, reception they, they and the cell the tower. Internet. It's part of their population. <laughs> God, I want the fucking eye patch guy so fucking <laughs> Me bad. too, man. Wow. Dude, he just made that happen with his heightened senses. <laughs> yeah. It's fucking Cyclops over here. All right. Put your hands together for Rishi Arya. I Rishi Aria, here he comes, live. All right, hey guys. Um, I joined a gym, and I've been eating better, so I've lost a lot of weight, and now my whole family thinks I do cocaine. <laughs> and I would correct them, but I kind of like the idea that they think I'm successful enough to afford that much cocaine. <laughs> it's in the wind column for me. I feel like white people in LA are more Indian than I am. Like they're all doing yoga and they have Hindu symbols on their cars. <laughs> like white people might gentrify neighborhoods, but we gentrify their souls. A uh, little something about myself, as you can probably tell, I have a hairy ass. <laughs> like, I feel like you can tell that from face value. Like, my ass is so hairy that I can show it to all of you right now, and you still wouldn't see it. Go, go ahead. What is it? Wait, wait, wait. wait. How hairy is it? Yeah. That I can show it to all of you right now, and you still wouldn't see it. <laughs> dude, that was freaking worth it, dude. Fuck yeah. Rishi Arya. By far one of the funniest doctors we've ever had on this show yeah. before. Thank you. <laughs> I'd always love it when you would tell House how he's wrong about his theories. Yeah. And then killed myself. <laughs> It's true. Wow, That's you watched did. all the way to season I never seven. saw it. I just, I, I just a, hear about what all the famous Indians do. Deep so. reference. Yeah. Um, so did you ever find the White Castle? Uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> all right. How it's long have you been in stand-up, Rishi? Yeah. About six years. Six Good job. years. Yeah, Where you. at? Uh, I started in New York, and then I moved here. How long you, were you in New York? Three years. In oh, no. Uh, I, I was in New York three years, but I only did it for the last year and a half. Now, to travel from New York to L.A., is it true that you rode on the top of a train the entire way? <laughs> With your family? I actually, I'm Tony, still lost. Yeah. It's a shy one. Tony, you said... Uh... Thank you. That's Great how funny weapon. I thought it was, too, by the way. I'm with that guy right over there. <laughs> okay, when you said you, okay, Rishi, when you said uh, you joined a gym, yeah. does that mean that you had butt sex with a guy named Jim? And then when you said that you were eating healthier, does that mean that you were eating the sweat off of his neck? And then when you said your parents thought you were doing cocaine, right. does that mean because you lost weight because you got AIDS from the butt sex with Jim? Yeah, all three, all the above. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do right. you find tougher, com comedy in New York or L.A.? Good question. Um, maybe here. Because in New York, there's more real people. Like in the LA, a lot of people are like actors in the audience. You know what? I'm going to get a audience. second opinion. Yeah, all right. Okay. <laughs> hey, Rishi, Rishi, yeah. What do you do for a living? How do you survive? Uh, I do subtitles for movies. Whoa, uh, that's yeah. you? I speak French. I, yeah, I yeah. ended up having to pay somebody to do that when yeah. I made my own one hour Netflix special called One Shot, streaming right now. Right. And, and you Ooh. had to pay someone to do the subtitles? Yeah. yeah, I had to pay somebody to do that. I remember specifically, they're like, you have to pay somebody to do the subtitles. I'm like, what the fuck you mean? I? And then I, yeah, I had to do that. Yeah. And you were well, probably you could I, have been do, that guy. No, but I do the French subtitles. Oh, perfect. French? Yeah, it's my first language. Yeah, Netflix is. Uh, French is your first language. Yeah, I'm from Montreal. Oui, oui, oui. Where, where were you born? Oui, oui, oui. Montreal, Canada. That makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. Montreal. They have Netflix in France. Just to let you oh, know, yeah, they should yeah. just making sure. That Kyle Canaan used to do that. The really? Subtitle thing. Hmm. Did you uh, set the fur traps in Montreal? <laughs> Man, we. Oui? Oh. Wow, that really Russell petered out. <laughs> so, Rishi, wow. Indian, French, that was an amazing joke. Joelberg is in the motherfucking house. So, Rishi, how long have you been doing subtitles for? 
since 2014. That's a, you probably oh, get paid cool. good money for that. It's pretty niche. Not job. at all. No. Really? No. No. Have you done anything cool? Like any cool projects? Like any? <laughs> no, I mean with the I just do all like, the movies that come out. Fights. Like I do. I get to see the movies before they come out. That's oh. like what's the last cool movie you've seen? Cool movie? I mean, yeah. I saw a Battle of the Sexes oh. like a few days ago. Did that come out yet? Battle of the Sexes. What's that? Right see, you got all the new shit, man. It's yeah. in my queue. It's that Billie Jean <laughs> King movie with uh, oh, Steve yeah, Carell. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's in my LGBTQ. All right. <laughs> Let me ask you something. You I wish we had him when Austin was up so we could have heard what he was saying. <laughs> Sarah, you are... I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> so what's so. it like to ride in boats with tigers? <laughs> very scary, I guess. That's a very, very, very awesome question. Oh, that was a life of I have a better okay. one, dude. What's it like living on the reservation, dude? Wrong Indian. Yeah, that was. Yeah. <laughs> That's feather, not dot. Fair. I have a question for you. Sure. Who let the slum dogs out? <laughs> the Bombay men. Uh, Rishi, have you ever done the subtitles for a movie and then gotten a letter from a deaf guy that was all like, <laughs> like that? Not at all. No, yeah, the letter jumped off the page and screamed at him. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow, you guys really are douchebags tonight. Really, yeah, fully yeah, committed, yeah. fully committed to the character. Even if something gets a laugh, just attack it. <laughs> Rishi, if you were, if you got to rename yourself and not have your silly Indian name that you right. have, <laughs> what would the name that you gave yourself be? Um, Jim. I don't know, Max. <laughs> <laughs> You've really thought about this, and you really want to be a white boy I named Max, I always want, like, a one-syllable name, yeah. I wanted to do a joke in French. Oh, I know. oh can you speak a little French to us? Can, oui, you, can, you tell, can you tell Sarah, like, something romantic in French? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, Est-ce que vous voulez uh, avec moi chez le Chateau Blanc? Oh, my Whoa. God. He said that he wants to eat your country dumpling <laughs> pussy. <laughs> wow. I can't believe you he said that. He definitely said biscuits and gravy. And I asked if she wanted to go to White Castle. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> By the way, I've never seen a less confident Frenchman before. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I want to. Polly Goose. Oh, man. Call Uh, uh. Hmm. Okay. That was nice. So you How disappointed are your parents in you? Oh, man, like crazy. Yeah. Really? What did they want you to be? She, they wanted me to be an accountant. Ew. How many I brothers and sisters? They wanted him to reach sisters. for the stars. Yeah. You have two sisters? Are they yeah. both like a dentist? One's and a, doc a doctor, one's a lawyer. Okay. Uh, there you go. So. And you're the comic. Yeah. Is the Maharishi the guy who was with the Beatles? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I'm wondering. <laughs> Maharishi? Yeah, that's no it. Clue. I was just wondering that. <laughs> no answer. What do your parents do? Uh, they own a bowling alley. Really? Yeah. What? That's awesome. That's so sweet. Yeah, yeah. That's sweet. Where? Like a Brunswick? In Montreal. Yeah, Brun they own the... That's a really, that's a really, really yeah. tough job to pin down. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. No, that's Chris Hardwick. His family owned bowling alleys. Hardwick Lanes. Really? Yeah. More than one. That's how, oh. yeah, his parents owned so many, like started Hardwick Lanes. Huh. Or are his you, dad. Are your parents still together or did they split? <laughs> uh, still together. Yeah, I've heard of 710, but you look more like 711. <laughs> Hello. Hi, everybody. The Big Bucks. Austin, first week of October. <laughs> <laughs> the employees went on strike. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a spare joke? <laughs> yeah, no. dude, it's got three holes. Do you Talk about the, like speaking f French. Uh, French? No, I don't really. You don't Whoa, really bring that up. Lane. Not really. No. I think you should bring that up. Yeah, maybe it's like a little throwaway. Yeah, as a bumper. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't want it to end up in the gutter. Mm -hmm. So let's see here, man. I feel like your dad started. Uh, your dad's an Indian guy that started his own bowling yeah. alley. Yeah. Man, that really takes a lot of balls. Yeah. <laughs> oh Jesus. <laughs> Did you, are oh, you are really you good Jesus bowler? sing I'm jokes over here, bowler. Brian? It's not You're enough a really bowling good bowler. jokes have gone bowler, too far. Yeah. Oh, have they gone yes. too far? I haven't heard you come up with one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know the last one? Yeah, time? you turkey. Is, yeah. Come on, come up with one. Is there a poopy <laughs> is there a is there a poopy bum bum bowling joke that Brian can make anyone? 
Uh, the last time I bowled, I bowled a 301. Wow. Is that true? You That's can't bowl a 300 and lose. <laughs> wow. Well, you said we were doing I agree with jokes. Brian all of a sudden. There yeah, weren't too exactly. many bowling you said, jokes. <laughs> that was, you said. That was the one. Well. Man. All right, Rishi. So... It was nice to meet you. I thought you. you were great. Thank you so much. If Sarah it. always says that she thinks everybody's great right at the end. Yeah, that's why I had a lot of bad relationships. <laughs> Crocodile King is going to hold you to that. Hey, that's I'm a, in love. That's a lady that said I was great. Get over here. <laughs> Rishi Aria, ladies and gentlemen. There he goes. He's on Twitter at Rishi underscore E-H. R-I-S-H-I underscore E-H. Austin Langley is on Twitter at Wes Langley. I, I was going to ask if when he met girls, he tried to hold them like a bowling ball. <laughs> well, good thing you didn't get a chance three to fingers. ask him that. That's what I'm then. saying. Two, right. in pink, right. one, two in the pink, two in the pink, one on. in the stink. Dude. Like three fingers automatically. I yeah. feel like dancing right now. Okay. Do you guys want to go to the bucket one more time before we end this fucking super show, huh? You guys having fun out there tonight? That was the most bunk-ass response I've ever seen in this fucking room. You guys ready to go to the bucket one more time? <laughs> fucking lazy-ass L.A. crowd. Everybody thinks they're too good to have fun. Uh, what, what, did, you, did you order an Uber? Who's getting the Uber? Burr, 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 burr. I can feel your dumb peasant thoughts out there. <laughs> Jesus, fuck. Pay attention. Enjoy yourselves until it's over. Live in the moment, you idiots. Yeah. <laughs> Please be the guy. Exactly. This is exciting. I, I don't even know what to say here. I'm just going to start naming things and hope that this human being walks to the stage. I'm excited about this, and you will know why in a moment when I say the name Gormless Gabe Garola Gabriel the Fifth. If any of those sound like you. No one cared who I was till I put on the eye patch. That's a earlier throwback. No, uh, I had a fun day today. Uh... <laughs> Fuck you guys. You didn't get it the first time. You don't get the laugh. Uh, so I saw a pigeon, you know, uh, like you do. But um, <laughs> this pigeon, there's something about her. I know it was a girl because uh, I was attracted to the, the pigeon. And... Um, yeah, you know, you kind of, where do they go? <laughs> you feed them, and then they leave you. <laughs> I keep feeding them, and uh, the birds, they leave. Um, <laughs> doesn't matter what type of bread I use. Usually wheat bread, that's not like a race thing. Wow, that was fucking terrible. Yeah. Oh, all right, you have a bunch of names on your piece of paper, so what do you want me to call you? Uh, Gabriel. Gabriel. Yeah, that's all right, Gabriel, the bomb artist. Let's get into it. How long have you been doing stand-up? I don't. I this think is your first time trying it? Yeah, obviously. What? That's the shorts. I write stuff, and then I just... What do you write? Yeah. Um, uh, Talking to the microphone. Talking sorry. to the mic, yeah. Uh, One-liners and, uh, you know... Like, uh, what do you do with them? Write them on Twitter? No, I just I write them down on my notebook and then I go to sleep and then. <laughs> <laughs> How could you say I mean, he's not funny, Tony? This, this guy's, guy's clearly living dream. funny. Yeah, he's this, li you're you're clearly, living dream. I will say you are clearly fun. You're a clearly funny person, more like Gabriel the Angel. <laughs> wow, I believe in you, Gabriel. You're a funny motherfucker. You're just standing there being funny. Thank you, sir. Uh, a left-handed okay. handshake. <laughs> From Gabriel. Uh, Jeremiah, I'm the guy that. Um, Gabriel. Stick to physical comedy. What Gabriel. made you. Yeah. Gabriel, over yes. here. Oh, sorry. Uh, Thanks for your mean Twitter comment, now telling me in, in person. <laughs> Gabriel, how old are you? 23. 23. Wow. Yes, are you in college right now? I'm not, no. What do you do with your life? 
Uh, my uncle got me a job working as a preschool photographer. A preschool photographer. You just said that. Okay. He said that Yo, with Tony. a straight face, by the way. He did no, not I, smile. I, is it, how Tony, busy Tony. are you with that? Tony, honestly, it's a weird I subscribe to that magazine. I'm glad to... <laughs> preschool monthly. It's just highlights for children? Life. Like, what are you doing photography for? Action shots? I mean, when we, we hear a, a word like that as comics, we're like, ha, ah, ah, ha, so excited. I know, I get in trouble a lot because uh, I have a problem taking my work home with me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, was that... Dude, he, he, does, he doesn't just write jokes, he writes ransom notes, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what else do you have like that? Like, like, tell us some more things about you that might be like that, like well-written or something. <laughs> Uh, why do they call it Bluetooth? It should be called, uh, Blue Ear, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> right? Right? It's revolt. It's the system. It's broken. Okay. It's more your delivery. It's like a combination of your delivery and what's going on in your mind. That's what's funny to me. I feel like, like you're three steps ahead of the rest of us. I feel like you're in 2019. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what if, are it's you, are you, uh, Mexican? Unfortunately. Wow, Jesus. Oh, I didn't want to say it. I didn't want to say it. I don't want to go there either. He said it. I didn't have to. Why do you think you always look so serious? You have such a serious look on your face. I'm a broken man, Tony. What, what's, why, why, what's broken about you? And you're Mexican, so why don't you fix it? <laughs> what's broken about you? No, um, I'm just messing around. Um... No, you remember Brianna Upton, the chick? Uh, nope. No. <laughs> no, we okay. have no idea who you. I know, I barely remember. No, uh, she was uh, she was on here twice, and she's uh, okay. she's a. Uh, uh, was she know. on the night? No. Did she's you? one of the persons you took a picture of. <laughs> no, she's of age. Okay. What are you saying? You what like the her? What the fuck is happening? Are you to trying her? to ask her out? <laughs> is she in the or trunk she... of your car? What the fuck are you trying to get out? <laughs> yes. Is she yes. in your yes, cargo yes, shorts? Did. Okay, let's say I did say yes, I remember Brianna Upton. What would you have said? Just because uh, she mentioned me during her... Uh, she mentioned me during her... Um, about what? Interview. What did she say about you? Uh, just sort of my background. Like uh, what? What did she say about you? I was a... Uh, after high school, I went into the military, and then uh, I got out, and then I just needed a job, so I'm doing that. Why did this girl Brianna talk about you? What was the context? What the fuck is going I on? I know, right I'm now. trying so hard to what figure this out. What the fuck is going on right now? Somehow, at the end of the day, I'm responsible for whatever the fuck's happening right now. Yeah. So I'm trying to really dig here. I know. I'm thinking of jokes and. Don't you know. think of jokes. Okay. Don't do that. Just answer the questions honestly. What are you looking at over here? Okay. All right. What are you saying about Brianna Upton? You guys have a past or something? Yeah, well, uh, we used to date. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And okay, and then what? Um, brings us to now. Uh, <laughs> Everything brings us to now. Yeah. Where it's now is now. You can't yeah, just say that. We're in real time. This is live. Brings us to now. Does it bug you when people say in IRL or is it IRL? I don't want your jokes anymore. What the okay. fuck? <laughs> no, Jeremiah. IRL. Don't do it. In real life, man. In IRL. Do you guys still Don't. hook up, you and Brianna? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Uh, no, we're, we're friends. Oh, okay. Well, very good. Yeah. It's like um, a Bob's Burgers character that they cut out from the fucking... What do you season. do for a living? <laughs> uh, take a, I'm a, uh, but how do you car. really He's make a He's a motivational living? speaker. <laughs> I mean, that was a joke about how you can't take your work home with you. How do you make a living? Expenses, so, um, that's how awesome. do you eat you live with your, Do you live with your parents? Yes, I moved back in. How many brothers and sisters do you have? I have uh, two little brothers and then uh, one... Uh, a uh, younger sister, but she's... You sure? I call them models. <laughs> <laughs> how do you eat pussy? How many kids do you have? Excel. Can you show us how you eat pussy? Okay, uh, it goes a little bit like... Uh. <laughs> Ooh, you just, you just put a bib on. I believe I just saw a bib. You just made guacamole first. <laughs> Welcome uh -huh. to the art house. He's looking for hot sauce. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. That was romantic. I mean, uh, you're 23 Did you just eat that pussy old. with a fork? Yeah. <laughs> you're 23 years. At least years. use a spork, dude. You're 23. You're not in college. 
did we find out what you really do for work? Did no, you, you answer it on? He quit his job to do comedy, which he should was a bad and idea. You, so you live with your parents. You're going to do stand up full time. You're going to live with your parents for about a decade. That's the plan right now. And take pictures no, of I don't kids. Wanna, no, this is just something fun to do before I have to, you know, have to what? Buckle down and uh, buckle down and what? I'm going to be a police officer. Are you really, or is this <laughs> another joke? Why everyone say ah? It sounds like a setup to me. Okay, okay. What are you gonna do when you're a police officer? He's gonna shoot an unarmed black person for sure. <laughs> he definitely is gonna overreact. <laughs> It'll definitely be the first time he kills. That's for sure. <laughs> so easy. Too easy. Shut up. Yeah. I'm allowed to do that dumb kill joke once every year. I allow myself. Do you mean to do my bowling joke straight. again? <laughs> yeah. Do it again. 301. <laughs> We have a 301. <laughs> 301. <laughs> All right. I gotta, I gotta 311 go means uh, public nudity. Does it? No, 311 means a dope band. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you know what? We're going to do something fun. fun. Uh, we're going to do something fun because uh, you're not, I don't think you're uh, really that passionate about being a stand up comedian. So, in your place, we're going to get radio. There you go. You're done. Good job. There he goes. It's Gabriel, everybody. Yeah. Tony. Good job. I was going to end the show, but I think we should do something fun. What do you think, Brian? Something fun real quick? No. Uh, Tony. I, Tony. Yes. You guys want to do something fun real quick? Yeah. I had Josh write down his name during that last comedian, so he's coming up to give you a little taste of his fucking eyeball. Put your hands together for yes. Nick Herodoyanis. Hey guys, how we doing? <laughs> if you can't tell, I got my eye gouged this week. And when I went to the ER, the, uh, the nurse checking me in was asking to see the injury and I take my ice pack off and she shrieks, runs out of the room, says, I don't do eye stuff. And I timidly respond back, but do you do butt stuff? <laughs> Guys, do you, do you ever see a dolphin with one of those soda can rings around its snout and wonder where the other five dolphins went? <laughs> um, guys, who goes to a strip club on the holidays just so they won't be the saddest person in the room? A strip club's a special place. It's a place where you'll see someone celebrating something, a wedding, promotion, a divorce sitting right next to a lonely guy that wants to see one more titty before he grabs a handful of Tylenol. And I can make that joke because one time I took a handful of Tylenol. And now it's funny, every morning I gotta take a handful of pills just to make sure I don't take a handful of pills. Okay, yeah, thank you. Fuck yeah, Nick Caradoyanis. Wow. You know, a lot of people have told me that I have quite the eye for talent. <laughs> And seeing you up here, I got to <laughs> tell you, man, you are like a fucking hurricane because they also only have one eye. Uh, but wow, that was, that was very, very fun. Very in style. Just right as, th that eye is just as timid as I am. Huh? What? The eye of the hurricane. You know, not meteorology oh. humor. I like oh. your shirt at least. Dude, do you, do you, well, you can also probably only destroy in Florida. Do you, <laughs> 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 this is a, this is a, this is probably the best question I'll ever ask. Uh, do you <laughs> do you cross your cross uh, cross your eyes and dot your T's? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> wow. Wow. That was impressive. That's my party boy Patty Reagan right there. <laughs> Man, what do you do for work, Nick? I also work at Yard House. What? Shut up. Oh, no. The front no. door. Let's oh take a field God. trip. Field trip. If you told me you worked at a restaurant, I thought for sure I would have guessed Popeyes. <laughs> wow, blow me down. I, I would have said I hop. Yeah. Oh. I got two legs. I don't. Have I didn't to see hop. your set, but uh, where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come <laughs> from? Cotton <Kyle and> Eye Show. <laughs> Joelberg. All right. Are you gonna get the new iPhone? <laughs> this is too easy, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, really? you should have done all these jokes. Yeah. 
I'm pretty sure you can see all of these coming. <laughs> I did it. Um. <laughs> queer eye for the queer eye over here. <laughs> Man, how long have you been working at the yard house there, uh, Patch Adams? <laughs> um, a, a little over a year. Wow. You enjoy it? Sure. Where are you from? Boston, Massachusetts. Boston? Yeah, you're going to be there on Friday, right? Yep. I'm going to be Kill there at the end of November, no big deal. Ooh. Kill Tony live in Boston, streaming 360, or if you're Nick Cardoyas, 180. <laughs> 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 what is that? What's that name from? Cardoy. What, what, what's your ethnicity? Greek. It's, Greek? Yeah, it is. Yeah. It literally means Walnut John. Walnut John? Yeah, I don't know why. Aren't you guys glad I asked that? <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been out here? Um, I've been out here for two years. Been doing a stand-up for one. And the goal is like to be a full-time. <laughs> oh, God. And the goal two is for one? Full-time stand-up? Full-time stand-up, yeah. Yeah. Is, full oh, you didn't sound too enthusiastic. I'm, I'm just <laughs> checking you out, man. <laughs> so are you waiting tables oh, right now at Yard House with that scary-ass eye patch glued to your this fucking morning, yeah. Really? I bet you get better tips. No, I don't. Motherfucker. No way. All right, you know what? Let's do something fun here. Let's do our thing. You come up and take our order. Man, I <laughs> okay. sure am hungry. I'm fucking... Me too. I'm starving. I want a ribeye. What are you guys doing? <laughs> 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 what are you guys going to get? Oh, oh, ah! ah! Fucking creepy. Welcome to the yard house. Oh, disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need more coasters. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking disgusting. Come on, guys. We're going to Get Applebee's. Get another waiter. Oh, yeah, bring Austin back up. He's better than me. Oh, you. my <laughs> God. So did people, like, handle it well earlier? Did people just laugh oh, at I got you? so many dirty looks. Right. They, like, everyone thinks I got in a fight, and I'm... Just a boy. But you could have made that up. Well, I wouldn't assume fight. I don't look at you and think no, fight. I don't no, think no. fight at all. No. Either that or it's the biggest Magic the Gathering disagreement ever. <laughs> <laughs> you make it yes. cheat it. <laughs> Much closer. Man. Is your eye leaking something? Like It looks like there's like some juice leaking through. Are, are that's not true. Then, not? No, that's just Red Band's go-to for oh, comedy. Okay. Uh, word, word, juice, juice leak. I have an ophthalmologist appointment on Wednesday, and that would be good to let so, them know. So you 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 lacerate your eye, so you have a cut on your eye. Yeah, and I you do. have to cover it for what? Uh, just so that it can heal without bacteria and like dust. Were they all out of eye patches, and they just wanted to use that? No, I'm not a Kaiser Permanente member, and I went to their ERs. Are you yeah. a Kaiser Temporary a a member? <laughs> No, so they legit did the least that they were allowed to do. It looks like literally. it's coming off a little bit near your nose. Is that no, true? Yeah, can, can, you, true? can you take it off for the... No, no, no. No, no, no. no, 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 no. Oh! Yes. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh, yes. That looked like Sissy Spacek. Can you can you put it next to the VR camera so that the people at home can see it? Yeah, that one right there. Oh. 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 <laughs> Somebody call an ophthalmologist. He's got a demon in his eye. I'm into it. Is that weird? You like it? <laughs> Yeah. Maybe maybe you guys can maybe I'll take you out to dinner. You guys can go get some uh, like poke or something like that. <laughs> poke, oh. poke, poke. <laughs> you might poke in your eye out. Poke. We got great poke at the yard house. Is that no, true? you don't. Do you really? <laughs> yeah, well, right. it's it's good. They I do guess. now. <laughs> <laughs> They're not oh. paying me to be here. Man, I could have sworn that they told you years ago that you would shoot your eye out. <laughs> And then look at you now, all grown up. You just never learned. Yeah, 24 hours a day on CBS on Christmas. I, TBS, I get it. Yeah, everything you say kills my momentum. <laughs> um, <laughs> Nick, this was yeah. fucking awesome. You hey, did thanks it, buddy. For me come thanks up, for taking guys. us Thank home. There he goes, Nick Cara Doyanes. Doyanes. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I know for a fact Sarah Tiana's working. Where are you coming to soon? Uh, I'm going to be in Tampa the first weekend of October, and then I'll be at the Sacramento Punchline and the San Francisco Punchline in October. Brendan Schaub always grinding. Two of my hardest working friends. How about one more time for Sarah Tiana and Brendan Schaub? I'm at the Laugh Factory Long Beach on Friday, and then Pittsburgh and Nashville in November. Both of these guys are hustling like crazy. It's saratiana.com and brendanshop.com, right, for tickets? Nope, tfatk.com. TFK. That's right. TFAK. TFATK. TFATK. The Fat. fighter and the kid.com. TFATK.com. TFAK.com. The fighter and the kid.com. Nice. If you're a fan of me, make sure you go back and listen to that episode that Brendan and I did together recently on The Fighter and the Kid. I've been getting, I got feedback all around the country. It might for be that. the best one ever. Yeah. People, wow. people had a lot of fun. Check out this drawing from the amazing Ryan J. Ebelt. That, that is happened. Amazing. That happened while you all sat there. That's, That's very cool. I'm in Cap City the first weekend of October. We're in Boston this Friday. A lot of other fun stuff coming up in the first week of, or the first month. Well, first, yep, November, I'm in La Jolla, Denver, Phoenix, bunch of fun places. So that's all at TonyHinchcliffe.com. The best damn band in the land is over there. Put your hands together for these douchebags. From Best of Durst. Dude, check out, uh, get some t-shirts from me at JeremiahWatkins.tv slash shop. Uh, got Reagan Watkins tees, uh, you know, uh, the Wave shirts, uh, just a lot of stuff. And then also email me at yourboyjeremiahwatkins at gmail.com uh, with, with moments that you'd like on video. I'm trying to revamp the YouTube page for Kill Tony. It so is get at me. really cool. I just saw a clip of feminist Stacy attacking Eric Griffin from a few weeks ago. That got a lot of hits real quick. I'm and excited about these new best Today, of Ron White's three minutes went up. Oh, yeah. Ron White closed an episode by performing on the show, right. and he That's fucking sweet. annihilated. That was so great. Jol Jolton Joel Jimenez. Oh, wait. Mostly. Wait. Go ahead. Do your thing, guys. Me? Yeah, Anyone? anybody. Guys. Hi. Thanks. We got a show coming out on Comedy Central Snapchat, September 25th. Check it out. It's called Void. Patty motherfucking Reagan. Dude, I just want to recommend the movie Love and Death by Woody Allen. <laughs> Chris, the bass player, is... Uh... Chris Dillon, a.k.a. Chroma Chris. Check out Drac and the Swamp Rats, also the Chroma Keys. It's a fucking there awesome he is. band. Awesome band. Well, that's that. We're going to see you next week live here at the Comedy Store for another fun episode of Kill Tony. I'll be in Indianapolis with Death Squad November 8th and Columbus, Ohio November 9th. Live audience, thank you so much. We'll see you on the front patio after the show for high fives or whatever you guys want. We love you. Good night.